I'm coming. I'm just working the camera by myself today. So you guys, please note, I'm on my way in front of the camera. So now I'm here. I hope everybody can see me. I'm gonna check on, I'm gonna check on my um, lap, my oh, iPod, iPad, and make sure. But I'm so excited. It's Monday and um, Ms. May, uh, Ms. Mayhew is the winner of our replay. So I'm so excited to announce that. And I will um, get in touch with her. She watched us on our YouTube replay. And she's gonna win a free roll of Bodabra Scrunchy Ribbon. So I think you're not gonna probably see me as well here. Um, maybe if I move this up here, I can talk to you guys a little bit better. Um, so I'm by myself, so please forgive the camera stuff, but I'm gonna show you guys how to make some really super, super easy um, hair bows. So let's get started. Oh, Manu, hi. Everybody, thank you so much for being patient with me. I think I'm gonna have to um, move, change the camera position again. So you're gonna be seeing more of the Bodabra and what I'm making and a little less of me. So I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire and we're gonna start with a really simple, hi Libby, hi Joanne, hi Terry. Um, Uh-oh, what did I do with my scissors? I can, oh, here they are. I was like, I can't believe I sat down without my scissors. So you guys, please forgive my little dysfunctionality today. So I'm going to fold this in half. Hi Marlene and Edna. Oh, Edna, thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, you guys, please, 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 share with anybody that you know. Um, so I have 10 and a half inches of a one and a half inch wide ribbon. And this is how we're gonna make our pinwheel bow. So I've already cut at a diagonal and I've already used my lighter. And basically, whoops, what I do is just shit, just run my lighter over it. Or you can um, do a, use a um, fray check or a nail polish. So I'm gonna make a one and a half inch little tail right here. So I'm using my, and this is gonna be a three inch wide pinwheel bow. So I'm just gonna fold this back over and I'm gonna make my loops one and a half inches. And then I'm gonna twist it and scrunch this down. And then I'm gonna fold it back and make my, make it sure that it's one and a half inches on my little measuring tool and scrunch that down and just kind of pull this little tail up. And now I'm going to just pull this through my slip knot and pull it tight while it's still in my bodab, mini bodabra. I'm gonna pull it out. Yeah, everybody, you guys, thank you so much for sharing. And Jill, we just got started. So I'm really excited you could join us. Now I'm just gonna bring it over here and tie a knot. And if I wanted to, and then you have your, your loops with your little tails, and so it kind of looks like a pinwheel, and that's why we call it a pinwheel bow. Now, what I could do with this bow is I could actually, I don't have any red thin enough to do this, but I could wrap this around here. And actually the pink looks kind of pretty and then tie it off and that would be really pretty as well. So it's totally up to you. So now I'm gonna get on to a Jojo bow. And I'm gonna start by making one in my mini Bodabra. And I use these really cool little alligator clips um, that are already have grow grain on them. So I just wanna let you know, and I think Terry will put a link up as to where you can get them. Hi, Linda, and hi, Gail. Oh my gosh, Gail put, oh, belongs to our Facebook fan club. And she put this absolutely beautiful wreath up there today. Oh, I better take my wire. So I'm gonna grab my Bodabra wire and cut a piece here. I think I'm gonna cut a piece. There we go. And I'm just gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna leave my measuring tool in because I wanna try to make this bow as accurate as possible. So I pre-cut, I don't remember how much ribbon I cut. This is a three inch wide ribbon that I actually bought on Amazon. And I believe that Terry can 
Bodabra can give you. So it's one yard, 12 inches. Um, can give you a link because it's really pretty. It's a really thick, nice ribbon. Um, so I'm gonna just, I've, I've um, cut it at an angle and I'm gonna just put it out to the three inch mark. I'm gonna twist and scrunch it into my Bodabra. Then I'm gonna fold it back over and twist. Yeah, Edna, it's really, really pretty ribbon. I've got three ribbons I'm using today that I actually purchased off Amazon, and Terry will give you the links because they're all absolutely gorgeous. So now I've got measuring it out to the corner, and I'm going to twist, and I'm going to measure out. So these become very big bows. Then I'm going to just twist it here and bring it back over. And again, I have my three inches. And this time I'm just gonna do my little mountain up in the middle. And take my wand and give everything a really good scrunch. So, and then in a minute, I'm going to make the same type of bow, same JoJo style bow in my regular bow dabra. So if you don't have the mini, you can definitely make it in the regular. I'm gonna pull it really tight. I'm gonna pull it out. Oh, you guys, um, I'm gonna definitely, um, we'll, uh, Bodabra will, re will pick a winner and let us know who the winner is at the end of the hour. Um, but we already picked the winner for the monthly. And I'm working with some really cool stuff. Oh, I wanted to then take, I took this little piece of yellow satin ribbon and just tied a knot in the center. And so I'm gonna bring this around. Because this ribbon, I tried it with this, but it was just too thick. And since the yellow is in here, I thought this would be really pretty. So I'm gonna just bring my wire apart and I'm gonna use my Zots for this because they're, they're really, really strong. In fact, I put some on my tablecloth last week and I had to fight to get them off. And bring this up here and I'll put another glue dot. And that here, bring it around here, and then I'll just clip this. So you just need a ribbon, a piece of ribbon long enough to go around your bow. And then I'm gonna tie my hardware on. And again, I have this little grow grain, so I'm gonna put the right side. I'm gonna first, what I'm gonna do is start a loop here, and then I'm just going to put this through this loop, whoops, so it's right on the back and I'm gonna tie it really tight. Then I'm going to just bring this around here and bring it around here. And then I'm just going to bring it over here and tie it off. So, and I'm gonna double knot that just to be safe. Now you can of course glue your, use hot glue to put everything together but I just prefer to use um, the, the wire and the Zots, which are permanent. You can take them off. And then you have this really cute, I'll just kind of shape this out and pull this tail down. And in, it, in essence, a Jojo bow is really a two loop pinwheel bow. So we're kind of working in process of how we're doing this. Um, oh, and also, um, Terry, can you put up, somebody asked me in um, on the last video how they can join our Bodabra fan gallery on Facebook. So if you could please share that link, that would be awesome. So I'm gonna put this little bow away. Or see, I could even put it on my shirt and wear it like as a pretty accent. But look, this took like five minutes to make. And what would you spend $15 in the store for something not as nice? So I'm going to put that one aside. And now I'm going to grab um, this bow and I'm going to grab a different piece of hardware here. I mean, this ribbon. And we're going to move to the big Bodabra. So I'm going to cut my, um, my ribbon here. My, I mean, my ribbon, my wire. And let's just clip it. 
and I'm going to lay this down into my Bodabra. So unfortunately, we're trying to get it done, but we don't have a measuring tool for the big Bodabra. But um, a couple ways that I cheat is I'll actually take a piece of paper and put it under and just mark out. Um, but for the Jojo bow, it's actually really simple because I have this really pretty rhinestone ribbon, which is again, really thick. And um, I'm just gonna twist it and scrunch it down into my Bodabra. And my goal here is I want this um, to go to the end of my Bodabra. So this is how I'm gonna measure. And it's actually the perfect size for a Jojo bow or a um, pinwheel bow that has four loops. So again, I'm just gonna twist it just make sure it's where I want it and fold it back over. Oh, I love the hearts and the love. And, and you guys, in case you weren't on at the beginning, um, you're my marketing team. Like I don't have a big, huge marketing budget. So I always ask that you guys, um, looks like I measured wrong. I'm just going to pull this through here. There we go. And then here, that. Sometimes you have to kind of play as you go. And so now I'm going to take my wand and just scrunch everything down. I know, Mano, thank you so much. I love this ribbon. I think it's so pretty. And I've had some really a lot of fun finding ribbons that will work really well for hair bows, especially for these, um, they're, they're really called pinwheel bows but they're known as Jojo bows, so I'm happy to call them either. And I'm just gonna knot this. And then I have another piece of ribbon where I tied a knot in it, and I'm just gonna bring it around to the back and just separate my wires so that we will be able to put, what am I doing here? So we will be able to put the hardware on it. So make sure my knot's in the front and this time I'm not gonna use the glue dots, I'm just gonna use my wire. So you have, I'm just showing you guys how you have a choice. And pull that through and bring this, looks like my knots were not in the right place. There we go. And I am gonna use a glue dot on this one because my knot is going all over the place. So if you know anybody who has a little girl or a granddaughter that they might want to make hair bows for, please share this video with them. I really, really appreciate it. So let's see if we can make a record of shares. Okay, so now I'm going to take my hardware and I'm going to just bring this through here and bring this through here. And with this hardware, most of the time, I would probably um, use a glue gun to put it on, but I'm gonna just show you how to do it with just the wire. And then I'm just gonna bring the wire back around here and bring it up through. Let's open this up here. I'm gonna just bring this through here because that's gonna hold everything down really well. And then bring it around one more time, around here. And I'm really showing guys all the steps that I do because I think everybody wants to know how I tie these onto my bows. So we're just gonna tie this here. And these Jojo bows are big, so sometimes you need a little bit bigger clip, which is why I'm using this one here. And then I'll just clip my ends and just close this and then you have a really cute and none of these ribbons that I'm using are wired they're just really thick and pretty they have this really pretty bow so now I'm going to take this and thank you and Brenda thank you all you guys thank you so much for joining me for sharing so now I'm going to go on and make a funky little girl headband. Let me see. So 
And then I have another really fun. This is just really simple. I'm gonna use a regular Vodabra. And you know how in little baby pictures, everybody likes to have these like humongous bows. So all I'm doing here is I'm taking my tool and these strips of tool, but you can use um, scraps, is 14 inches and it's about a three inch wide tool. And all I'm gonna do here is just tie a knot in the end and I'm going to tie a knot in the other end. And that's all you need to do for these pieces. So I'm going to start with my Bow Dabra Bow Wire. And I'm going to just clip it. And hi, Susan. Hi, Rhonda. And fold it in half, and I'm going to lay this into my big Bow Dabra. So this is, this is just a really fun, funky headband. I call it the photo, funky photo headband. And so I'm just gonna alternate these back and forth. And I've used scraps for some of these, so it, they might not be exactly the same length, but that's okay, because it just makes it more fun. So I'm just gonna end with this one here. And then I've got, this is a six inch wide tool, and I have 29 inches. And I'm just gonna do it like a scrunchy bow down the middle. Oh, Cindy, thank you so much. It means a lot to me that you guys appreciate me doing my tutorials. And if you're not familiar, we have um, at bodabrablog.com, we have hundreds and hundreds of Bodabra step-by-step -step tutorials and video tutorials. So now I'm just going to tie a knot. And just because I don't have any other color, I'm going to use my green headband, but I can tell you I'm going to be ordering some more colors because I know I'm going to need them while I'm up here. Because I'm not at home, so I'm not working with my regular, um, my regular amount of product that I have everywhere. Um, so we'll just kind of sort of shape this out. But I just think this would be so pretty. I think the headband should be pink but would be so pretty on a little girl's head. Yeah, thank you, um, Edna. Yeah, the nice thing about videos is you can rewatch them, and we have so many videos on our Bodabra blog. So now, let me see. Oh, I thought I've had requests from people to how can I make a puppy bow. So right here, I have um, 11 inches and this is a three inch wide ribbon. And I also bought this, I love these ribbons that I found. I spent way too much time online searching for them, but nevertheless, so now I'm going to, but I'm, we're sharing the links with you guys so you can find them as well. So now I'm folding it all in half, just tucking the ends underneath, and I have my tool on there. And so all I'm doing here, it's really easy, is folding my ribbon in half, and then I'm gonna take this piece here and just lay it down, bring it around, and then with my with my um, my guide here, I can make the loops exactly the same. So these are two inches on each side. And I'm just gonna do what we call a little mountain up. So I'm just gonna make a crease in the middle, because that way you don't have to sew to get the crease. And just scrunch this down. So I, this could be a really pretty hair bow or it also I think would be really cute on like a, um, a puppy that's care that's the ring bearer in a wedding. What am I doing? As if I haven't done this long enough. I'm gonna pull it through the slip knot, the tight. Oh, Stephanie, hi. Yeah, I spoke to Stephanie this afternoon. She called me and I told her to join us tonight. So that's really cool. I made a new friend today. Actually, last week, but more today. And I'm gonna tie a knot and then this bow could totally, I'm just gonna shape it out, and then I think maybe take this pink and just wrap it around, and I could just glue dot that, and I'm gonna move a little quicker now because we're running out of time, and I have a bunch more bows to make, but I think that's so cute, and I just love this ribbon. So I'll put that aside, and um, let's see, we're gonna make this one next. So this is just a really super, super simple that you can make in the big bodabra or the mini bodabra. So I'm just kind of alternating. 
I'm gonna fold my ribbon in half and lay this down into my modabra and just tuck the ends underneath. So um, I'm gonna start with this piece of ribbon that is 13 inches long. I've already dovetailed the ends. It's gonna fold it in half and put the center into my bodabra. Then I have this piece of grow grain that is already cut and it's 13 inches like the other one and one and a half inch wide. All I'm doing here is folding it in half. I'm just gonna lay it down into my bodabra. And then I have this piece of half inch ribbon wide and it's again 13 inches long and I'm just gonna lay that. Now the bow is super simple to make. So I have um, a two and a half inch wide ribbon, which is 11 inches long. So I'm just going to take the right side of the ribbon and put that down into my bodabra. Then I'm gonna fold this back over and again take the right side and push that into my bodabra and then scrunch everything down. Now, if you noticed, I did move it a little bit higher in the bodabra. So um, here I've got 10 inches of ribbon, one and a half inches wide. So because the towers are taller here than they are in the mini, it makes it more difficult to do the tiny bows. So what I'll do is take the right side of the ribbon and put that down. And I'm not gonna push it all the way into my bodabra. I'm just gonna bring the right side of the ribbon here, push that down and then bring the center and push it down. Oh, I wanna do my mountain up. Scrunch everything down into the bodabra. So that's how you can cheat and make the smaller um, bows in the bodabra, in the bigger bodabra. So now I'm gonna just pull this through, tie it while it's still in my bodabra and pull it out, separate the ends, bring it around to the back and tie a knot. And thank you, Linda. And now I'm just going to pull this through and tie a knot. And if you're new to us today, um, please let me know. Let me know where you're from. And also, please share with anybody that you know. I would love it if you can share with anybody who might want to learn how to make hair bows. And so we're just going to kind of pull these down and sort of shape my ribbon out here. And you have a really cute, super, super simple to make hair bow. So what I want to do now is show you with the mini bodabra. Um, sometimes you want the ribbon to be absolutely um, like centered. So in order to do that, I take my peel and stick. And what I'm going to do is bring it centered down this ribbon. I think I'm going to bring it centered and so I'm just pushing it, whoops, center that a little bit better and bring this down. Cassandra, thank you for sharing. Bring this in here and then I'm just going to clip the end and now I'm going to I should do this before I go live because I always have trouble with it, but it's, it's just because it's so thin to peel apart. But once you do it, it's really awesome. Okay. All right, there we go. So now I have this clear sticky. And what I love about this product is it, it's, it's very sticky, but it's, it's a fabric fuse and it is machine washable. And no, I don't work for the company. <laughs> but it's just a great product. So now I have a bow, I have a bow, um, a new ribbon that I just created that's 16 inches long. So what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna make, I'm gonna take it and fold it in half, and we're going to just make a simple boutique bow. So it's 16 inches by I think that's seven eighths of an inch. So I'm just gonna bring this over here. I'm gonna take the right side of my ribbon and scrunch this down into my bodapa. Now, what I'm gonna do is make an X and then I'll move this back so you can see what I'm doing. Again, I'm taking the right side of my ribbon 
and scrunching it down into my mini bodabra. Then I'm gonna take the bottom um, ribbon and I'm, this is gonna be just scrunched down in here and I just wanna make sure it's even. So it's like two and three fourths and then do the same thing here. And if I put my wire in, <laughs> this would be really super simple. So let's just make this bow really quickly again so you guys can see what I did again because this can get, people get confused sometimes with this bow. So I'm just gonna lay my wire back into my bow dabra and um, I'm going to now again fold it in half. I'm just gonna clip this little end off here. It's a little extra we don't need. And then um, I'm gonna take the right side of the ribbon and scrunch it down. Yes, Michaels does carry all of our products and you can buy them on walmart.com. You can also buy them um, Hobby Lobby and Joann's. So now what I'm doing here is I'm going over here and I'm gonna just scrunch this down here. Then I take my lower part of the X, scrunch that in, and then scrunch this piece in. And then I take my Bow Dabra Bow Wire, pull it through, put tight while it's still in the Bow Dabra, and I'll separate the ends. And you guys, I have so many more bows I planned to make today. And let me bring it around to the back and just tie that off. And I'm gonna leave the gold showing because I think it's really pretty. And then I'll just take my headband, just tie it on. Or you could, I could have put my headband in here, but I didn't. So, that, and it's actually easier if you put the headband in first and just knot it. And let's just clip this. So you have a really cute little boutique bow uh, which could be put on a clip or an, alliga on an alligator clip or on a headband or a ponytail holder. So I'm gonna move this back so maybe you guys can actually see me talking to you. So um, you asked, Edna, did you ask at your Michaels for, oh, the, the fusible stuff, Brenda, is called Peel N Stick. Um, and I buy it on Amazon. I think we have a link for it. Thank you, Karen. All you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for sharing. I'm just waiting to hear who the winner is. Um, I know we have a winner. So as soon as we find out, um, oh, Karen Cummings Meyer, congratulations. That's so awesome. So you guys, please share Bodabra. Follow us if you, if you could please follow us here on Facebook. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel. I put a new video up every single Wednesday. So anyway, thanks so much for joining me. And um, Karen, please um, private message me or private message Bodabra and we'll get your ribbon off, your scrunchy ribbon off to you. Thanks so much. Oh, I almost forgot. Next week, we're gonna do some really fun wedding decor. We'll do pubos, we'll do a little wrist corsage. Um, so anybody who's planning a wedding, let them know to join me next Wednesday at four, I mean next Monday, 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Mountain, 6 Central, and 7 Eastern. Bye everybody.